Time now for our rants and raves, starting with the brilliant Dan Kennedy. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I have a rave uh, for, the, for the New York Times, uh, which uh, recently, this week, announced that it has reached more than 4.3 million paying subscribers. That's amazing. Uh, a million of them in print, but the rest of them are digital. And uh, they now have a newsroom of 1,600 full-time uh, journalists. It's the largest newsroom in their history mm. at a time when newspapers are kind of on the ropes. Uh, again, it would be nice if we could come up with uh, something similar for local newspapers, but this is a remarkable success story at the Times. Mm -hmm. And they're making money. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, they're, they are profitable. While yeah. failing, of course. Yeah. Yeah. While exactly. failing, <laughs> yes. And without copy editors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kelly. Um, this is the New York Times rave. I think I'm, I'm giving it a limited rave because we haven't seen it. But the New York <laughs> Times is uh, debuting a series in June called The Weekly, which is going to feature mm. the reporting. What, what the Washington Post or Jeff Bezos was trying to do in an ad to let the public know this is the work that we do and here's what it takes. They're going to take their enterprise stories, not the day-to-day. -day. They say there's enough people doing that, including themselves, and really dig deep with their own reporters um, to, to get to allow for transparency and to explain to people it's how the sausage gets made it's what the story is about all of that so it could be very interesting. interesting. Well, they do that every day now on one on the inside page. They do they they, they tell how they right, pick one this story. Is Fox this is a TV. Oh, this is strictly this is TV. Television. Oh, Fox okay. series, yes. Oh, I missed that. Yes, yeah, Fox yeah. series. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. And their daily podcast, the yeah. daily, the daily. Is, uh, one well, story that they yeah. take out. That's just that's fantastic. Great. Right, yeah. Dan Lothian. So I have a rave for the publisher of the Garden City News, uh, Meg Morgan Norris. It is a small paper, uh, Long Island suburb. Um, and w her, her father bought this paper in 1974, and she has been um, quite critical of the, the board uh, that oversees the, the villages um, and writing stories about the lack of transparency and some problem with developments as well. Well, her paper, some of the revenue for that paper, as it is for many of the small papers, comes from the legal notices that the town oh, yeah. or the, 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 the villages mm -hmm. has to put out on an ongoing basis. Well, they're upset about some of the stuff that she's been doing, so they've pulled uh, that contract from her and given it to a smaller paper that only wow. covers, it reaches a smaller percentage mm. of the region. Uh. Um, and, and they're threatening to even pull more money from her. And she has said that this is censorship and that she's not backing down from her coverage. So it's a rave for someone doing something good with a small paper. Good. Mm. Mm. I hope yeah. she doesn't buckle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she slowly goes underwater. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I'm going to um, I'm going to rant. This is I'm going to sound awfully grumpy uh, here, but <laughs> but uh, and I've been watching uh, ABC the yeah. uh, evening news for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I, yes, right. I know I watch it too. And um, and I have to say the one thing that I just absolutely find annoying is. Every night, night after night, there is a segment about the weather, whether this is a big news story or not. We're going to turn next to dangerous weather, yet another storm system moving from west to east at this hour. Hi, David. I have to tell you, it feels good compared to where we were last night, but still very chilly. Hi, David. This storm is really stretched out in the last 24 hours. Another storm headed this time to the Plains, Midwest, and Rockies. I'll get to that. David, when rain falls on a freezing or sub-freezing surface, it can freeze on contact. That would be called freezing rain. Gosh. Yeah. Know. You know, and you just, I, I, see, Every night after night, night you, know. you just have to think, oh, my goodness, it's winter, it's cold, it's summer, it's hot. Let's find something else. That's uh, what that they ABC do. Every night. You know yes. right. Every night. Right. Yeah, it's it's news you can lose. That's it's ratings, sure. health, it's stories, stories you, babies at the end of the newscast, yeah. Yeah. and weather. I hate to tell you, I think people like it. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end on an, an up note. I'm going to end up with a rave for the Boston Globe that after polling its readers, decided to restore some of the comics. Oh. Yes. I have to read them because I don't know these comics, but Bizarro, Adam at Home, Mother Goose and Grimm, Rose is Rose, and of course, the Jumble is back. Everybody loved it. I couldn't believe they got rid of that Jumble. Anyway, um, and by the way, Brian and Rory put out an editor's note encouraging people to take a su survey online, which I did. Just, he says, don't get nervous. You know, I'm not going to necessarily mm. dump everything here, or, but tell us what's important to you from the horoscope to the puzzles to whatever it is and if what it is that you go and read the paper every day and what you could do without so I encourage people to do it I'm not a zippy fan but a lot of friends of mine are very upset that zippy didn't come back well John Carroll always loved get fuzzy I don't think that came back either. no I don't think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, well yeah. I like peanuts but yeah. Yeah. that's gone isn't it yeah. I don't know any of these